Hi Jo. Hello. First of all, can you tell me the name of your project? The name of our project is Gunjur Project. Brilliant. And where are you? And um, we are situated in Gunjur in the southern Gambia, uh, which is away from the tourist areas. It's a small little village, little fishing village, away from everything. What does your project do? Well, we opened it as a lodge, uh, specifically aimed at helping young people to have a, a Gambian experience away from the tourist areas, away from the areas where where it's not really Gambia. We set up as a project to bring groups of students from the UK to give them an understanding of what global citizenship is all about, to give them an understanding of, of, of how people live in a developing country, uh, away from the sort of snot no, snotty noses and pot bellies where they're dying of starvation and things. Africa is more than that. So yes, we've got lots of links with lots and lots of community groups, schools, uh, village development committees, nursery schools, primary schools, secondary schools. We organise activities for the, our visiting students in any of those venues according to the, the agenda of the visiting students. During the summer we run a summer programme for the local children. Uh, this year we had 120 students in the local area that benefited. Last year was 99. When did your project start? We opened in 2007. January 2007 was our first group. Why did your project start? In my previous job I was a youth work manager and I used to come in on holiday. I used to involve young people in um, understanding more about the culture here. Uh, but my husband uh, used to do a, a drumming workshops with lots and lots of different groups and there was one group in particular that said we'd like to do more we'd like to do something and it was a group of young people that were hard to reach really were on the edge of exclusion from school so it was a wonderful opportunity as a youth worker it was a wonderful opportunity to engage with those young people and they used to come voluntary and they used to give up their time they learned to play the African drums and they, they then would go out and do performances and then when they uh, did the performances they'd get paid and then we would give them a choice about how they spent their money and they put a fridge in a health centre and a roof on a school and sponsored kids education and every time they had, a, they had a, to choose from a list of things that they, they could do and so therefore they were learning all the time about how, what life is like just by looking at the list if you like and every time I was bringing money over here the young people would say to me why can't we go why can't we see so we decided that we'd bring we, that we'd find a place away from everywhere and bring those young people and that group of young people which was Makasutu drum band were the first group that came here it sprang from their idea how do volunteers help your project we usually have people for a week and I would say that a lot of the people that even come here for a week are volunteering because they, they all come. They bring, uh, they bring equipment for schools, they bring peer education, they bring all sorts of different things that they want to share with their, with their Gambian counterparts. Some of the young people that come here want to take it a step further and, and save their own money and come out here as volunteers. Uh, we've had a few so far. Uh, they, they the volunteering opportunity that they have is really up to them. We give them the starter, we give them the break into the community, we, we, we organise their, their first placements, if you like. But then if they're not happy about that, we can move it, we can change it, we can, everything, everything, everything is, is flexible. We've had young people that have come and volunteered with GPAG, our environmental organisation, We've had a lad that was volunteering doing um, music with young people. We've had um, people working in schools.